controller a game controller a simple one with only four buttons if you want more you can add more so I'll show you how to make it so let's do this you need some push buttons and Arduino you know some wires and 4 into 220 ohm resistors for acting as pull down resistors and that's all you need. The logic is simple. When we play computer games, we usually press these keys. That is W, A, S, D. So what we have to do here is that when we press the push button, we just need to send these letters to the computer as input. Don't think we can just print it. It is not actually printing. We are actually giving input to the computer. So it is not actually the same as printing. So it is simple, we can use the keyboard.h library from the Arduino IDE. But no, we can't use it. The library used that is the keyboard.h is only available for some SAMD based bots like Leonardo Explora, U, MKR and some other MKR family bots only. So I cannot make them with a Arduino Uno. I'm so depressed. But I'm not going to give it up. I know another way. When I didn't use C++, I used it to program my Arduino using Python. While using Python, we use a protocol called PyFirmada. So in it, the code don't get stored in the board. It will always be transmitting and receiving between the computer and the board. So I can utilize that thing to make our game control. So let's see it. Now let's get to the circuit part. I have already drawn it. Here we have the 5 volt, it is actually the 5 volt from the Arduino and here we have 4 push buttons, all of them are connected to the Arduino's 5 volt and all of them are also connected to the ground via the resistors and here I have marked some numbers, it is actually the pins of the Arduino so we have to connect them to the Arduino uh, don't worry I'll upload the schematic down below, that is in the description I have placed everything on the breadboard. Here we have push buttons, and all these wires goes to the Arduino, and here we have resistors, four of them. And that I have placed the breadboard on a cardboard so that this will act like a covering. And also I have added these things on top of the push button so that it will act like an extension and will will be more convenient for us to use. Let's add some spice to it. <laughs> Here we go. I have placed the Arduino to the back of the cardboard and I have wired them all up. get to the programming part so we are going to communicate with our Arduino using Python so for doing this we need a protocol named PyFirmada this establishes a serial communication so before you write the Python program we need to install two more things first is the PyFirmada package another one is a keyboard which I found in the github you can also go and check it out if you want I have provided the link here so 
as I have already told you guys that we cannot use the keyboard li keyboard .h library from the Arduino IDE because it is not compatible with our Arduino Uno it is only compatible with some other boards so we are going to use this library called keyboard so you can also check it out if you want and so let's get started before writing the python code we have to go to the Arduino IDE and select the examples and then go to the firmada and then you find something called the standard firmada and select it and upload it to your Arduino Uno so here I have imported the pi firmada and keyboard sorry before that you have to install this pi firmada and keyboard so just open your command prompt or terminal and type pip install pi firmada keyboard and hit the enter button I have already done it so I'm not going to do it again so now let's get started so first you have to import this pi firmada and keyboard and uh, this is not this line this is the import time is not necessary I thought I might use in my program but I didn't use it so it is not necessary you don't have to use it and in the next line you have to find your port and type it here you can find the port from the Arduino IDE and in the next line here it is actually assigns an iterator that is used to read the status of the inputs and in the next line it starts the iterator which keeps a loop running in parallel with our main code so here I have assigned a variable called w pin uh, and this thing is actually our Arduino pin so it is like digital pin 6 of in digital pin 6 input and in the next line also it is like digital pin 11th pin and it is set as input so you can do that and I loop in it I have a variable w which reads the w pin so it is actually reading the Arduino 6 to pin and I have said that if w equal to equal to 1 you have to give a character w as input to the computer if it doesn't you don't have to if it is equal to equal to 0 you don't have to give any input so this equal to equal to 1 actually is the case when this Arduino 6 to pin reads a voltage so it is actually the case when we press the push button when we press the push button the Arduino 6 to pin will read a voltage so it is actually a, a logical one when we press the push button and when we do not press the push button it is actually a logical zero so it is the same thing I have written all here 